Dombrowski v. Pfister, 1965. Dr. James Dombrowski was the director of the Southern Conference Educational Fund, or SCEF, and a leader of the civil rights movement in the South. The mission of the SCEF was to promote voting rights and desegregation. Dr. Dombrowski's office was raided and documents were seized by the police for violating anti-subversion laws in Louisiana. Dr. Dombrowski and others sued James Pfister, chairman of the Legislative Joint Committee on Un-American Activities in Louisiana, and others for the return of their files and property, along with $500,000 in damages. After failing to make any headway in state court, they turned to the federal courts for relief. However, the federal district court dismissed the claim on the grounds that Dombrowski failed to show evidence of irreparable damage or ground to enjoin the state court from their ruling. The case went all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court. In a 5-2 decision, the Supreme Court ruled that since the state law was overly vague, the federal courts could enjoin the enforcement of an overly vague law that interferes with free speech. The court ruled that federal courts should not interfere with state litigation unless the state laws have a chilling effect on constitutionally protected free speech.